I'm Ethan, got a name tag here and everything. Uh, I'm a junior, I'm a supply chain major. Uh, anything else you want to know? Yeah, where are you from? Um, from Tom's River, New Jersey, ethnicity is uh, Chinese. You were born in the US? Yeah. And your parents? China. In China? All right. Do you speak Mandarin at all? A little bit of Taishanese in the house. Yeah? yeah. Dude. All right, man. Uh, James. What's up? I'm James. I'm a senior in aerospace engineering. I'm from Philly. Yeah. I'm American. You know, all mix a white <laughs> European. <laughs> yeah. You guys go to football games, by the way? Penn State games? In yeah, I've been to some. Have, have you ever lost yourself at a football game? Like when it's really close, did you ever like really lose you? Yeah, especially when there's money on it. Oof, it's very yeah. bad. Ant here uh, lost himself at one of the BLM protests in Philly. Okay, go to the next slide. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. He was involved in destroying a police car. Yeah, the guy was uh, looking at seven years in prison. Sure, he's a nice guy and everything, you know, but he did commit a crime. You can't go flipping police cars and setting them on fire. Yeah, maybe a punishment is in order, but like, say, fine him the amount to replace the car, not put him in prison. Because like you said, teacher, community guy, like, you don't need to take that away from Philly. Like, I, <laughs> I remember those riots and they were nuts. Like, all sorts of stuff was going down, but like, we do not need to take educators away from people in Philly. What, why that. though? Like, what, why not? Like, what, what do you, I mean, what do you see? What do you see? I don't know if being a teacher gives you like a bunch of privileges in the law. Like, does that, what if you're like a plumber? I mean, that's a very big deal in the community, but. Do we have any plumbers? Yeah. What do you think most black Americans would say? To what degree should we give him more of a break because he's black? How do you know that? Like, where did you come to that conclusion? My mom's a judge. Shout out, mom. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, I'd like to she's think She's a Quaker that judge. She's a Quaker judge. What, would she, what do you think she'd say about this case? So, this guy right here. Dude, he's a Philly guy, by the way. Ant is his name. Anthony Ant Smith. Okay, he's a teacher, community activist. It seems like he's a nice guy. His the students like him. Other teachers, other a community activist, not activists like like an organizer. Like he's really involved in his community. Okay, seems like a nice guy. Everything I've read about him seems like a really good dude. Right? You guys go to football games, by the way, Penn State games. Yeah, been to some. In, yeah, I've been to some. Have, yes. have you ever lost yourself at a football game? Like when it's really close, did you ever like really lose you? Yeah, especially when there's money on it. Oof, it's very yeah. bad. All right, bro. Yes. <laughs> so you lose yourself, right? Because it's the contagion of the crowd and so on. Ant here uh, lost himself at one of the BLM protests in Philly. Okay, go to the next slide. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. He was involved in destroying a police car uh, burning the police car, you know, it caught on fire, the whole thing, turned it over. Yeah, the guy was uh, looking at seven years in prison. I mean, that's pretty serious, right? I mean, they, you know, there were other people involved, but this is like, here it is. You know, you're out just like F the police kind of stuff. Prosecutors were wanting 30 months, at least a minimum of 30 months in, in prison, right? This is a felony. Okay, this isn't like Mr. Meaner, he got caught selling a bag of weed on the street or something like that, or jaywalking. So people in the community and in his family were really lobbying on behalf of this guy. This is him in front of the courthouse, you know, the, 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 you know, look at the sign with the hashtag free ant, you know, like him and let him go. Like, don't prosecute this guy. He's a good dude. Right, if you, if you put him behind bars, he's a teacher, he's doing a lot of really good work in the community, and if you do that, a lot of things are gonna happen, a lot of bad things are gonna happen to him, but presumably also a lot of bad things are gonna happen to people, to, he's not gonna be doing good work, right? I mean, maybe he, might, he can do good work in prison, 
Definitely, right? But probably with only a year, there's probably not a lot of really good work that you can do in prison. I mean, I'm, a lot of people who do really awesome work in, um, in prison. He said himself in front of the judge that my actions were immature and emotional. So these guys are saying, like, come on, man. Let's go. So what do you, what do you guys think about what they're asking? About well, for Anthony. Uh, freeing him, like, sure, he's a nice guy and everything, you know, but he did commit a crime. You can't go flipping police cars and setting them on fire. You could chalk it up, depends on how you want to rule on, like, all of the people that did that type of stuff. So if he gets away with it, you know, like, gets away, then you could say, you know, we'll look at this crime in a certain way. And, you know, if you haven't had any priors or anything and you have a good documented case in the community, then we'll just give you a bunch of community hours. Maybe you go to like whatever, like county jail, not like a prison where bad things can happen to you. But um, definitely not like scot free or anything. Like you can't go flipping police cars. That's, that's okay. A crime. Okay. But how about being, how about reducing, you know, being lenient with him? I could see it. I mean, yeah, you could be lenient with people. Like, if this is the first time, obviously, emotions were high. You probably look at, like, how we've ruled on other stuff in the situation. And, you know, if we want to, like, go that route or anything. Um, like, if there were previous riots for, like, political reasons or anything like that, and things got out of hand, right? Um, you could look at it and say, like, have we uh, ruled, you know, a little bit more leniently, or have we kind of brought down the hammer and, you know, you make an example out of him. So, you know, depends on how the judge kind of wants to rule it. I think both are fine. Yeah, maybe a punishment is in order, but like, say, fine him the amount to replace the car, not put him in prison, because like you said, teacher, community guy, like, you don't need to take that away from Philly. Like, I, <laughs> I remember those riots, and they were nuts. Like, all sorts of stuff was going down, but like, we do not need to take educators away from people in Philly. I'll why, say why though? Like, why, why not? Like, what, what do you, I mean, what do you see? What do you see? Wait, what's it? You're, you're Quaker, right? Yeah. Dude, explain to the class what that means, this guy. So, Quakerism is like a, a version of Christianity, but the whole idea is like the light of God is within each individual and like instead of going to church we hold the mic close instead of going to church and like having a priest preach to you you go to what's called a quaker meeting house and you sit in silence with a, a group of people and if you feel so moved to speak you can uh speak and share your thoughts um and yeah it's a very like peace oriented religion i would say a very very peace oriented and also very um, in this particular case for something like this, also very much trying to promote reconciliation and healing, right? Okay, so for you, you're saying, yeah, but look, if we put this guy in jail, you're, he's not going to be doing the good work. That's not a good thing for citizens of Philly. And yet what? What do you think about what, what, what Ethan said, though? I personally don't agree with the whole idea of like making an example out of someone, especially in the case of riots pertaining to George Floyd. Like, I understand the outburst and rage that came from George Floyd's death. So, like, it's understandable that, like he said, like, driven by emotion and it was immature, but. Like, again, I don't think that punishment of taking him out of the community is the solution. All right, man. Ethan, do you have a response to our Quaker friend here? By the way, Not if you are, if, you, if you're looking for a community of, of believers, like, a version, like the best, best, best parts of Christianity like purely the best loving parts of Christianity, and you're looking for a community of people that really want to focus in on the best parts, find a, find a Quaker community, man. It's pretty cool. The way you guys, 
the way you guys worship, too, like sitting in silence until someone is motivated to say something, you know, it's pretty awesome. No, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not the best Quaker, but, like, I would definitely agree that if you're looking for a community of, like, open arms and similar to Christianity, Quakerism, take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Like, chill, chill folks, man. All right, bro, what do you think about what he said? Yeah, I think um, he's coming at it in a very, like, empathetic way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're bringing up a lot of points about him being a teacher and stuff like that. I don't know if being a teacher gives you, like, a bunch of privileges in the law. Like, does that, what if you're, like, a plumber? I mean, that's a very big deal in the community, but. Do we have any plumbers? Yeah. You know, okay. medical peoples were huge in COVID. They got the hero pass. Yeah. And now they kind of lost it, but. Okay, let me ask you this. Um. What do you think most black Americans would say about these people who are trying to get the judge to go really lenient on him or free him, not charge him at all with any crimes, just like let him go? What do you think most black Americans, in this photo of these folks up here, what do you think most black Americans would say? They're doing good work. Um, oh, they would agree with them? Yeah, of course. Yeah? It's like, if you're one with the community, of course you're going to side with the community and, you know, the issues that you agree with i don't yeah. i don't think they take like a like a legislative stance where it's like oh but think, you got to look at it in the eyes of the law no you oh because you think so you think black people are much more likely to be sympathetic to anthony yeah of course yeah bro what do you think i i would agree i think that people would be on the side of freeing or being much more lenient with like punishment black people yeah yeah black people would be yeah. What do you what do you think uh what about the average white person? Not Quakers, bro. Uh I think it depends on where you're looking at. Okay. Like I think Billy the average white person might side with like the police. Oh, I was gonna say in Philly with siding with Anthony, but it depends also in Philly where you are. So it completely depends. Yeah, I yeah. think it's very like locale based. So both of you have the idea that the uh, that black Americans would be much more likely to be sympathetic to him than to be like, nah, man, you gotta like go after. We gotta go after this guy. You know, he's gotta go to jail, man. Yeah. I would say that. Generally, yes, but also, like, again, it definitely depends on okay. demographic. Okay. I mean, so for me, for example, uh, I have the idea that most black Americans would be like, nah, man, no. I mean, yeah, maybe, but, but black America is pretty conservative about these kinds of things, right? Just especially things like crime and whatever. It's just pretty conservative about people acting out. So, I mean, it, I don't know. Let's just, just, we, we can, you know, we could take a poll on it, but, I, but my gut would lean toward like, nah, probably most people are not going to be feeling particularly awesome. Go ahead, man. I think the one thing that may, made me think that they would lean in favor is that he is an educator. I think that's... He's an educator. Yeah, I think that's the, yeah. the key detail that would have more black Americans side with him. Okay, so what is it about him being an educator, though? Because, uh, by the way, this is a really big question, right? People, th this is a question that we're, we could be thinking about all the time. I'm using him as an example because we're now bringing race into this. And we need to bring race because to what degree should we give him more of a break because he's black? To what degree? I mean, in a great world, none. You wouldn't judge on race. What do you, can you say more about that? Like the court system and everything, uh, you should not be looking at like race, gender, et cetera, uh, ethnicity, stuff that, you know, you're just born, born with and, you know, who you are as a person. That should not have any bearing on legal cases. So the legal system should be colorblind, culture blind, and gender and sex blind. Ideally, but that would also mean like kind of society is probably also like that. So, I mean, that's difficult, but yeah, hopefully that, you know, justice is blind idea. Okay. 
so what's your gut feeling as a, you know, what's your gut feeling, you know, living in the U.S.? How blind is justice? It's not. It's not? Mm, I mean. Well, how blind? Like, not, you know, not yes or no. Like, okay, but how blind? Like, what's your gut? It's pretty blind. I think it's pretty, f it, it tries to be really fair, but obviously there's also like, you know, it usually goes along party lines and, you know, a court system in Alabama or what have you, Southern court system is probably not going to be as rule one way over one in maybe like New Jersey or something like that. I feel like, like the politics in that region, you elect people that you feel vote would rule according to your ideology. So obviously there's going to be bearings on that. And, you know, yeah, we're, we're pretty fair, I think, but we're not objectively fair, like fully. Okay, listen, man, how do you know that? Like, where did you come to that conclusion? By the way, I'm not like challenging you and directly. Yeah, I get but it. How did you come to, where did, how did you come to that conclusion? I wouldn't chalk it up to one place or like person or, you know, whatever it's just you know um you you live for x amount of years you see x amount of things that's kind of like that's kind of pers the perspective that i have so in your year how old are you bro 21 Do you, so in your 21 years uh you've just kind of come to that conclusion that what black people and brown people are treated slightly are going to be treated differently uh, often in the legal system Brown people, like yeah, like, like you, you know, mean? Latinos, Asians, Native Americans, people oh. like you. Um, I th I think there's way more uh, differences with um black people than there are with let's say Asian people. Um, but you know, there's definitely a lot of racism involved. You know, um, Latinos and them the border situation. I feel like if you swap the race out or something like that, and you found out that uh, let's say um. A bunch of Europeans were boarding a boat and they're getting over here. They they may still rule the same way, but they'll there'll be less racism involved. Where they're yeah. like, you know, get the Latinos out of here or mm -hmm. or Mexicans out of here. They probably say Mexicans. Mm -hmm. If Anthony was a white guy, would your response be the same thing? Yeah, I mean, he's a teacher. He's doing good work. It's like if he's still a community man and an educator, then yeah, like. I <laughs> I know the importance of education specifically in Philly, so my answer doesn't change there. Uh, yeah. So if he, so, it, so the fact that he's a black guy doesn't. How much does that influence the way you think about this? I think that, like, in the grand scheme of the conversation, specifically because. It was a black man that was killed by a cop, and yeah. that's why, like, I think there was an added response to this. Yeah. But I don't think that that's necessarily like a judicial factor. If what's your gut feeling about the judicial system? Do you agree with Ethan? Um, so, I think that the judicial system should be like the whole like colorblind ideal, whatever. Yeah. If we lived in an ideal society okay. where everyone had equal access, but okay. we don't. So I think that's a factor. Okay, so therefore, therefore when, with regard to Ant being a black instead of white. So like, I think that there is like specific accounts of like people being treated differently through uh -huh. the judicial system. Uh huh because of their race, ethnicity, uh -huh. heritage, whatnot. Uh -huh. But I think for the most part, I would say it's fairly balanced. My, my mom's a judge, shout out mom. Um, mm -hmm. So like, I'd like to she's think- She's a Quaker that, judge. She's a Quaker judge. What, would she, what do you think she'd say about this case? I think she would agree with me. She'd definitely agree with me about like, keeping educators like out educating in Philly, so. Uh -huh. Okay. So the reason I think the reason we're having we're going to move on to another conversation here in a minute. But no, you guys are doing great. I mean, you're wrestling with this, right? These are really difficult questions. And by the way, notice I'm not leaning in about the, the, the justice system. I'm just really curious about what, what you've come to and like how you've come to that. And then the question becomes, well, if the justice system isn't fair, 
right? And if, society, if there's racism woven into society and discrimination woven into society, what does that mean for the way we apply laws and we prosecute and we punish people, right? Because, you know, like two, five different people turn over a police car and, and are part of turning over a police car and burning a police car, but they all have different stories. And so then it becomes like, all right, well, what do we do with these stories? And there's always something to say or something to do or something to think about, ext extraneous factors and so on, right?